Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 12. I just got back from Target and Lowe's. Um, I got some cleaning supplies because I'm planning on cleaning. Um, I want to show you guys this. <laughs> Mackenzie brought him home yesterday. This is just a Santa in the window. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target and Lowe's because I feel like a adult like a real adult because this made me excited yes this made me excited okay. so i'm gonna show you okay i'll show you really quick from lowe's i just got this cerama bright cooktop cleaner for our stove because there's like stuff like gunked on there um and from target i got literally just cleaning stuff i got a pack of scrubbies because apparently we only have one left i got this scotch tape um because i'm planning on painting some things and i figured i would need this and then i got more dishwasher pods and then the biggest thing i got which i'm like the most excited about i got a swiffer wet jet i'm so excited we have one of these at my mom's house back home and i love using it so i got this baby I originally wasn't going to get it because it was on, like, the thing it was hanging on said that it was $48, and I was like, I am not spending $48 on this. But then I looked, and I was like, wait, it's not even the same thing. It said, like, jet and vacuum, and I was like, this is just a wet jet. So I scanned it, and it ended up being, like, $23, so I ended up getting it. But, yeah, I'm about to eat some lunch. I'm going to eat my salad from last night that you guys saw. Um, I'm going to write some things down, kind of just organize my life a little bit and then I will probably get started cleaning and yeah so that is my plan for today it's not very fun but this area definitely needs some love so I'm gonna do that okay so I just finished cleaning my um, kitchen if you can see I cleaned I was watching well I was listening to Christmas music and fire like a fireplace thing um, but I mopped, um, I, the floor looks so nice. I cleaned this stove. My grandma, um, showed me this, hold on, I'll show it to you guys. Um, my grandma told me to buy this. It is the Cerama Bright cooktop. Basically, you just put it on there and clean it. I did that, but I didn't have a razor to, like, scrape all the residue, or not the residue, but, like, the stuff off so i used a knife and i got a lot of it off but i didn't get everything so that's kind of annoying but um that was a weird sound we're gonna start the dishwasher um and then i still have the dishes in the sink but i'm about to oh i'm about to take out the trash even though i've already taken it out once today there was a lot of trash um we had a lot of stuff in our fridge that has been in there for way too long so i took it out so um, about to take out the trash. I have no idea what else I'm doing today. It's only 2.15 and I'm done with like everything I planned to do today except for practice, but obviously that's not till later. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, might paint. I might go through my clothes and try to sell some stuff. Yeah. So watching the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader show, um, <laughs> cause it's so funny and it's so cool. Actually, it's really interesting burning my candle it is the perfect autumn it smells so good i just ate some um what's it called um waffles so yeah hey guys so it is like almost 8 15 um i straightened my hair if you couldn't tell and i'm about to leave to go to practice in a little bit um yeah that's about it <laughs> Um, hopefully I'll vlog at practice tonight if I, if I stop being a little wuss. So, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so it is much later. It is like 1.30 in the morning. Um, I just got home and showered from practice. I, um, you can't really see it. I put ice on my shoulders. Yeah, you can see that one. Because we show, I did pyramids at practice today and my shoulders are just torn up. So I did that. Um. But today's video was supposed to be a Q&A, 
and I posted a comment box on my Instagram story and I only got two questions. So I will answer those and then just like, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm gonna do because I don't have a lot, of, oh my goodness. I don't have a lot of footage from today. Sorry, the lighting's bad, the angle's weird. I'm just tired, exhausted, ready to go to bed. Um, so the first question was like, how did I start my YouTube channel and like what inspired me and like advice and stuff. Um, and I'm not, I feel like I'm not really one to like give advice about starting a YouTube channel just because I don't have a big following at all. Um, but I, I'm doing it because I love it. And I guess that's the difference is because I started making YouTube videos when I was like 12, I think, or like even 11, maybe 10. I don't remember. Um, and I made them for so long and I edited them on like every computer I had. Like I edited them on, um, Microsoft Movie Maker. Yeah, I definitely, I edited them on that. And then once I got a MacBook, I edited them on that. And then when my MacBook broke, I didn't really have anything to edit with. So I, if I could use my phone, I did. If not, I just didn't upload. Um, so yeah. Um, so I guess the biggest thing for me is like, I'm doing it because I love it and not to get famous. So I don't know. That's, that's kind of the thing. I got into it back in like 2012, um, as like makeup, but it, now I'm more into like the lifestyle stuff. So that's what I like to watch. So that's kind of what I like to film and I like to record me living my life. And I think it would be really cool to have this footage so that in the future I can look back on it and be like, wow, I was 20 years old doing this, this, and this for Vlogmas, you know, um, in the middle of a pandemic. So I think that's like where I'm at with it. I'm not super like famous or experienced. Um, I mean, I have been making videos for such a long time, but it wasn't something that got me super far in life. I'm literally just doing it because I like it. And I think that's the big thing for me is just making things and doing things that I like for myself and that's it um so yeah that's that's my youtube experience i definitely don't say i don't really don't think i'm like qualified to like tell like give advice on how to start a channel um because i i guess i would still be considered a small channel <laughs> i mean i am so but yeah that's how i got into it i just kind of did what i want um in terms of like video wise like I did a lot of makeup stuff at like 12 years old with like drugstore makeup um and I liked it so that's why I did it but um and then the other question was what is my favorite part about being a Louisville cheerleader and oh man I don't know that's really hard actually <laughs> I would say my favorite part is actually um being able to be something, a part of something that's so, like, big and so great that is more than just, like, the team that I'm on. Like, there's such a insane legacy with my team and with my program, this program at U L. Like, it's wild. I've never been a part of anything like this before. Like, yeah, my high school team, I mean, they've had a cheer team since the 80s. But, like, there was no legacy. Like, the team before us, before uh, I was on the team, like, no tea, no shade. They they didn't win. They weren't, they weren't like, oh, my God, that's Eastridge High School cheerleading. Like, that's not who they were. So, for me, like, we changed it as I was on the team. But for Louisville, like, I am walking into a legacy. I am walking into one of the best cheerleading programs in the world. And I've never been a part of something like that before. And I think to me, that is the most nerve wracking, coolest, like that is the coolest thing ever. And I'm so thankful that I am even here, that I'm even able to be here because I, I literally couldn't imagine not being where I am right now. I'm, I'm like, it's, it's hard to say because like two years ago, I would have been like, I could never make Louisville. I could never cheer at Louisville. And then a year ago, I, I made I made the team at tryouts, and I was just like, wow. Like, I, I don't know. It's it's very, it's amazing. It's, it's probably the coolest thing I've ever done for myself. 
And that says a lot because I've done a lot in cheerleading, at least not to brag. Wow, that sounds really bad. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, I'm just so thankful to be here and to have had the coaches behind me in my past that have told me you can do it you can try out for Louisville and you will make it and I couldn't imagine not being here I couldn't imagine doing literally anything else I couldn't imagine being at a different school to cheer like I feel like I was meant to be here I feel so comfortable with the people I'm with I'm and I don't mean this in like a complacent way I mean this in like I'm so happy with the people that I'm in my life and most of the people like everybody that I see every day right now I would not be seeing if it wasn't if I wasn't here if I weren't in Louisville if I wasn't on all girl and I wouldn't be in this room shoot if it wasn't for the fact that I cheered and yes I came to Louisville for college obviously like that's the biggest thing but being on all girl has made me stronger physically and mentally and it's given me so many amazing friends and connections and opportunities that I never imagined and I'm only a sophomore I'm literally only a sophomore and I'm so thankful to be here so that is my favorite part I also love cheering football games and basketball games um they're like the coolest things in the world I wish I could like vlog a basketball or football game for you guys but that is just not possible so <laughs> I can't do that I can't promise that you do like get ready with me like show you me walking into the football stadium but like once I get in the football stadium, I put my phone away. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Football games and basketball games are also really cool. Appearances are really cool. Even though we're not really doing anything like we normally do right now. So, it kind of sucks. But, yeah. I would say that is probably, like, my favorite part about being here is being on All Girl. Like, my favorite part about being a cheerleader is the experience and just the legacy and I can't wait to experience more of it because, like I said, I'm only a second year and my freshman year, I didn't make Matt and we didn't get to experience Daytona because of COVID. So, yeah. But, I think that um, sums it up for my uh, Q&As. So, if I do another Q&A and you're watching this and you didn't submit a question, please submit a question because your girl needs them and I can't think of questions on my own. And that's not even fun. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it for today's video. I don't really have much else to talk about. And I'm sorry. I always forget to vlog at practice. It's just like, I'm so into practice. I'm so into what I'm doing that I just like don't think to like whip my phone and be like, hey guys. Like, I don't know. I still feel kind of weird about getting my phone out in front of people to vlog. Because like I said, I'm vlogging on my phone. So, I feel weird about that. Um. But, I don't know. We'll see. I might I might do, like, getting ready with me for game day since I'm changing the fo football game on Saturday. Because that'll be fun. <sighs> wow. Um, but, yeah. That is it for today's video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And comment down below any video ideas um and today's comment of the day if anyone watches this part is going to be um tell me your favorite gift to receive from christmas so like if you like to receive like oh my goodness gift cards or money or electronics or clothes oh i love clothes literally anything tell me what your favorite thing is to receive for christmas all right guys i'll see you guys tomorrow bye